Egypt. Okay, the Bachelor finale was last night, and there was so much drama, truly, for a million reasons. We're going to break it down with Sid Sixero. Nicole Servinas, good morning. I can't believe Twitter was on fire with so many parts of this show, so many memes, so many questions. Let's get right to it. This is where the final two ladies meet Matt's family, his mom, right? So Michelle was up first. Who wants to go first? Go ahead, Nicole. Go ahead, I'm, Sid. I'm catching my breath for moving in the morning. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, Michelle was up first, and she met Matt's mom and brother John. And uh, John started off with the hard-hitting questions. I was, I was kind of caught off guard because I expected his mom to be asking those ones, but John took it over for sure. And then um, his mom really got emotional um, with both ladies, but I think more so with Michelle. Um, one of the things that she, uh, Michelle, of course, opened up about falling in love, being in love with him, and how, and his mom, of course, is so happy to see her son happy, and to see that Michelle had such a strong family. And she was saying, you know what, Matt, growing up, gravitated towards friends who had really strong families because he didn't have that growing up so it brought her a lot of joy to see her her son um potentially be a part of that then there was rachel controversial rachel she is the one who chris harrison spoke up for in support of saying she deserves forgiveness but of course this was pre-taped how did her one-on-one -on -one go sid it was okay you know it was it wasn't as good as michelle's i mean i, I couldn't help it nicole i don't know if you agree or disagree i'm i'm, I'm watching michelle have her date and I'm thinking, man, her family likes Michelle. Like, it just seemed like a perfect yeah, fit. Yeah, I felt the same way. Ra Rachel's date was okay, but it was the conversation here, Dina, after the fact between Matt and his family that really kind of turned the episode on its head and really put a lot of doubt in Matt's head about whether or not he's actually in love with either one of these women. And again, Rachel, Rachel was fine in this. There was nothing crazy about it. But uh, it, was, it was the moment coming up here, the conversation, that, that really set... Matt uh, on a bit of a spiral here and and, and it, it turned into an interesting episode no doubt about it so let's get to it what happens there's a instant breakup of course it's always wild when you think you love this guy I'm gonna marry him and then you get dumped and then he asks somebody else or she asks somebody else to marry them that's the format what happened with Michelle Oh, it was so heartbreaking. They had such a good one-on-one -on -one date, or so we thought. Well, she thought, anyway. Um, you could see that Matt was, like, reserved and had kind of the dark cloud over him, like Sid was saying, after that conversation he had mm. with his mom and his brother. And then, so they rappelled down a, uh, a building, and he struggled with it more than I thought that he would. And then, um, so they had a great day date, and she's kind of talking about all her feelings, and, you know, I'm so in love with you. I can't wait for a future. Then at nighttime, he realizes, like, I can't go through with this. I can't do this anymore. So he breaks up. He just, with her, he just says, like, I love you. I'm, I'm not in love with you. And I think people can understand that, but also Bachelor Nation was very upset because everyone loves Michelle. And that's the frustrating part, right? It's like, it's nothing that she did. It's just like, he can't get there. So it was really sad. She was crying on the floor. It just was breaking my heart. Oh man, but at this point you're thinking, okay, he's gonna propose to Rachel, done, finished, right? Despite the controversy, what happens? Well, I mean, uh, Rachel Rachel is told by Chris Harrison in one of the last appearances he makes in, in this season that, uh, that the final <laughs> date's not happening and, and asks Rachel to meet him by the lake, which was very romantic in a way, but Rachel didn't know what was going to happen anyway. There was no engagement between Matt James and Rachel, but Matt wanted to keep the relationship going. Now, fast forward to after the final rose here. Yeah. This is what everyone wanted to see. Emmanuel Acho was hosting it. Chris Harrison out of the picture. We have some sound here. Matt James finally publicly speaks up about Rachel and are they together? Roll it. Rachel might not understand what it means to be black in America. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. I have to take a step back and allow her to put in that work. The most disappointing thing for me was having to explain to you why what I saw was problematic and why I was so upset. Mm -hmm. And I know everyone was just, it went viral. At some point, Emmanuel says, do you want to hug it out? Good luck you know, to you both on your journey. This is the chance for Nothing. a final embrace. Dead silence, awkward, no hug. He feels he's in a rock and a hard place here, right? He, he, he's just, he's processing it all still, I feel. And Devo called it. He said, with that beard, he's with nobody right now. He's training for a marathon if you check his Instagram feed. What did you make of all this, Nick? 
You know what? It just, I think reading his body language, it said everything. It, it was like he was very angry. You can tell he, he's upset about the situation, not only about how it unfolded, but I think he feels like he got robbed. He was mm. like fooled thinking that, you know what, she's the one way and then realizes like, you know what, like I, my mom was right kind of thing, you know, and, and that I told you so moment kind of I think was weighing on him. And yeah, he still seems pretty. I think angry about the whole thing because he like shunned her. You know when you get really mad and you're like, don't touch me. It was yeah. like, that was what he wanted to say, but what he said uh, louder with his body language. Okay, let me say this. Poor guy, a lot of people, aside from, by the way, M Michelle gave him the zinger about, maybe you'll learn to kiss with your eyes closed. Remember that? <laughs> that, that was like her yep, final thing that. to him. It stopped saying thank you when somebody says they love you. Thank you for sharing. Like the email inbox, boom, thank you for your <laughs> feedback. So people have been writing saying he was boring. He was a bit dry, nice guy. Dry. So what did they do? Huge announcement at the end of the show. Not one, but two back-to-back -back seasons lined up with Michelle and Katie. Katie seasons will, will go first, followed by Michelle, because they're like, I don't know, we don't have a guy with a pop it factor to sell the franchise because they alternate. Bachelor, Bachelorette. They're like, no, we want back-to-back -back Bachelorette. Tasha Adams hosting, Caitlin Bristow hosting. What do you think of this decision? I, I, quickly, Nicole, I love it. I don't think there's a guy in the queue that people were kind of clamoring for. Katie and Michelle, great picks. What do you think? Yeah, I'm. You know what? I think they put um, her in the in the summer one first because the the ratings are a little bit lower, and then Michelle oh. in the fall because the ratings are better. That's what I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, and they're both <laughs> fan favorites. They're both fan favorites. Bachelor Nation is very excited about it. Thanks, guys. We'll do this all over again for Bachelor in Paradise Canada, coming up. Will and Grace star Eric McCormack joining us to discuss the Bachelor finale. Now, his latest project and how he's supporting an amazing. I want there he take. is. That I was fake news. I Sorry, Eric. You don't deserve that. Stay with us, please. He's live right after this. <laughs>